What's up guys, my name is Cody, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be breaking down a play that you can use from the far tight slot in Madden 20 uh, for a really good quick pass. The play is Curls, and that's one of the audibles I wanted you to set so you could put that in your audibles real quick. For those of you that didn't see our, our video yesterday, we talked a little bit about what I believe to be the best run in Madden 20, or at least the most consistent, and it's the fullback dive from this formation. But you want to put your best receiver in the slot here. And this is just one way to run this. There's multiple, multiple, multiple ways to run this play. But um, I'm going to come out and fullback dive just to be consistent. We're just going to play any random defense here. But you'll see this this route to um, this route to Emmanuel Sanders really, really, really effective. And yeah, I completely throw it in the ground right off the bat. But this route to Emmanuel Sanders, this curl route, is a snap throw. You want to get him out wide enough. But you'll see it comes right, I'm off to a terrible start here, it comes right back in there. Now, if they are in, if they are in, you'll see it just comes right in there. Now, I have a tendency to want to throw this a little quick, and so that's just something I've got to work on personally. And you want to make sure that you don't do that with this play. You want to give it time, but you'll see it comes right in there. Now, this beats man and zone. The way it beats it, the way it beats the two defenses are a little bit different. So when it's playing against, um, you'll see he's just going to come right in there. And he's going to sit down, and you can easily, um, there's there's multiple ways to, to do this, okay? The first thing that you can do is if you take the running back and you just put him on a block and release, and then you take uh, Goodwin, and you can put him on anything you want. I If you have a route chemistry, I would put him, I would recommend putting him on a corner route, but since we don't, what I'm going to do is just leave him on his uh, on his hook or put him on a smart routed out route. But basically, you're going to motion him out, and you'll see right there all day. And you can fire that literally all day long. One other trick you could do with this, if you just max protect, take good one. You can put him on a little flat route, and this is going to create a nice little pick. And you'll see that's all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, literally, that is all day long. That route is going to work every single time. And this is this is the way you can get it. Just If you want to just focus on the curl route, it's really effective if you just do that little pick. Because what that's going to do is if the defense is in hard flat or they're playing coverage down, that's going to be wide open. If they're man-to-man, -man, you got a natural pick as well. Now, Part of the problem with the running back on a flat route, and I want to explain this, is if the defense, if the defense is in what is is in like a cover two man, the linebacker in the middle of the field is going to come out. So that's why you want to block the running back. Let me show you here. I think this looks like man to man, but you'll see there. Um, I don't know what that was. That wasn't man to man. But if you if we run this enough times, what I'm going to show you here. See, against zone, it's money. Against zone, that snap throw is there. And it's almost better against zone. It's way better against zone than man. But when they go man, you'll see. And I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll come out in, in a random. I'll come out in um, just a standard two man under. I find two man under to give me the most issue with this route. Um, every other defense in the game, this is very, very, very effective. But if you just come out and, like, nickel, cover two man, watch what happens here. So if I motion him out, when I throw it right there, you see that that linebacker can, you see that right there? That is why, let me show you what happens just real quick so I can be clear with you as to why we do what we do here. Um, so if you watch, the linebacker is in a man assignment on the running back. Now, typically, they'll user that guy, but... In this scenario, you'll see right there. Right when we're going to want to throw that snap throw, they're crossing. Okay? They're, they're crossing. The middle linebacker, he's not guarding anyone. And it, if so, if we wait longer and throw in the middle, it's just kind of trash. It's just not really good. Okay? So that's, what, that's why if we block the running back, though, and we take that receiver, we put him on a flat. Watch, if we get him out wide enough... That's a pocket five yards every single time. You can actually run with it too. Like, 
Now this is why long um, you really want to have a route cam if you can, um, so that you don't have to just stick with this little flat route that can't beat any can't beat man to man. But as you can see right there, and you can run after the run right after the catch. Now if I run like let me give you that example of that 10 yard out route. See, he beats that. And he'll beat that consistently. And if they're press manning and they have a, you know, if they're press manning, they have a superstar guy right there. That's, that's all, you know, that's, that's another story. But, but anyway, um, that is how you, that's, that's how you want to beat man. And there I threw it a little too late. But you want to create kind of a natural pick. Um, and unfortunately, because you can only motion one of them, it's not always as easy as, as we'd like it to be. But if you do that right there, get him out just enough, and I'm throwing. You want to throw this low pass, um, and you can experiment with some of this too. Um, but what I'll do from time to time is throw it low. Just lo hold left trigger when I throw it. No pass lead or anything, just low pass lead it and and you'll see you'll see a lot of reward from this but this is how you use it against man to man and there you see there's that low pass and again it's just a quick 5 yard hitter now what i want to what i want to explain to you briefly is what they're going to do um what the defense is going to do to stop this well the defense is going to go into some type of cover 3 hard flat type of look so let me just go to that real quick cover 3 and there'll be something like this. Now remember, they have to take care of the running, the running sets, and everything you're doing with that. So, I'm just going to use this base setup here, where basically we block the running back, we take good when we put him on a flat, and then we just go like this. And watch this pocket open up. Right? Yeah, I got a little bit, got him a little bit too far, or not uh, a little bit too far out. But right there, and watch this pocket right there. Now, what they're going to do as a defense, I'm just telling you, from my experience, what they're going to do is they're going to take their user and they're going to use her the middle linebacker. That's going to leave George Kittle wide open. So we watch hard flat. Once he comes right there, right up that seam, right there. So if they jump to, if they jump to the curl, you're going to have Kittle wide open. If they jump to Kittle, and this is something you need to understand about this route, when he settles up, low pass it, possession catch it, and you're good. Okay? You're good. Now, one of the things that I've experimented with a little bit is putting um, is putting Goodwin on a little hitch route. And you see here, it's, it accomplishes kind of the same thing. And it actually, and, and let me show you one little bit here against man-to-man. -man. I should have brought two controllers with me on this one. But let me show you one little thing on this with man-to-man -man coverage. And again, this is just a quick hitting play. This is just something that you want to throw at them to let them know you can easily beat their blitz or you can beat their whatever they're doing. So cover two man. We're going to go to curls. And we're just going to go put him on a hitch route. Good one. Watch what happens against man. There you see, you can still fit that in. Now what you can also do, though, is if they take away that route... If the defense says, well, we're not going to let you throw to Sanders. By putting him on a hitch, it makes him unbumpable. And when you settle him up, you can just low pass that hitch, and he's going to be just fine. He's going to be just fine. Um, so there's some a lot of things you can do with this one route, but the route that you really want to focus on is Sanders on that motion. And then, like I said here, it's that same motion from fullback dive. So they have to honor that. And what happens is... If you run this and you run the fullback dive to the right, they're they're not able to they're not going to be able to stop both because they're going in too many different directions. So let me show you the curls play. But you'll see. If I and I, it doesn't matter how long I wait, I just low pass it, low pass possession catch, and it's very 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 consistent. Now I have George Kittle on the uh, 49ers, so what I can do even better is I could take George Kittle and I could put him on a tight end corner route and we know those are effective this year um, against against man to man. One other thing I wanted to show you really quick before I jump off. If they are um, another route you could try with Goodwin, any hot route really you want, but the zig is really good against man. 
And I mean really good against man. Even if they press, still good. Once he beats the bump, um, it's really good. And it does accomplish several things for our offense. The only problem is they're kind of in the same spot. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. One other real quick combination you could do, though, is if you take Sanders, put him on a zig, and then you put a good one on a hitch, and you just motion them out, they're going to create a nice little playoff of one another, and you see it's going to absolutely roast man to man. So those are just some tips of how to use the curls play to your advantage on the left side. And then tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of using it on the right side against man to man. Okay? Thanks for watching.